In this video, we will look at the double declining balance depreciation method. So this is a form of accelerated method of depreciation because it speeds up the timing of depreciation. This method will allocate a greater proportion of the cost of the machine or the equipment to the early years of the asset's useful life. So this is an appropriate method if, let's say, the plant or equipment is expected to be used up faster in the early years. The formula to compute the depreciation expense during year T is equals to 2 for double the speed, that's 200%, that's the acceleration factor, divide by the useful life of the asset, multiply by the cost minus the accumulated depreciation as of the previous year. Now, you have to be very careful when you compute the depreciation expense. Make sure that the cost minus the accumulated depreciation, which is the book value, is greater than or equals to the salvage value. If you don't check for the cost minus accumulated depreciation, you could over depreciate, which means that the book value, the net book value could end up uh, lower than the salvage value. Let's look at an example where the cost of machine is $40,000 with a useful life of 5 years and a salvage value of $12,000. Using double declining balance depreciation, calculate the depreciation expense in year 3. So using the formula, in year 1, the depreciation expense will be equals to 2 over 5, the useful life, multiplied by 40000 minus the accumulated depreciation, which is zero at this moment. So we will get 16,000. All right, so for year two, when you compute the depreciation expense, so that will be two over five multiplied by 40,000. And then we have the depreciation from the previous year. So that's the accumulated depreciation as well. So we minus 16,000. So that is $24,000 of book value, still above 12,000. So taking 24,000 multiplied by 2 over 5, that gives us 9,600. All right. Now, so to date, uh, up to year 2, the total depreciation, if you take 16,000 plus 9,600, so that is a total of $25,600. Okay. So in year 3, in year 3, if you take the formula 2 over 5 multiplied by 40,000, Okay, minus 16,000 and minus 9,006. Okay, if you continue to use the formula this way, we will get a depreciation expense of 5,760. Now, if you don't check for the net book value, that's where you could fall into a trap. Because if you notice here that when you take 40,000 minus 16,000 minus 9,006, okay, the net book value of the asset is currently at 14,000. $400. This is the remaining book value. And take note that your salvage value is up to 12000 So if we were to take 14400 minus 5760 we would end up with a net book value of 8640 Okay, if we were to continue to do this without realizing or without checking the net book value, then uh, just to point that out, so your net book value by the end of year 3 will be the 14,400, okay, minus the depreciation for that year. So the net book value would be 8,640, which is well below the salvage value of 12,000. So this, in other words, this 5,760 is not the depreciation expense for year three. So what do you need to do then? Of course, uh, from 14,400 to 12,000, the depreciation expense would have been 14,400 minus 12,000, the salvage value. So it would have been $2,400 instead of 5,760. So this is not the answer for um, this question or this example. Okay, it's supposed to be 2,004 in this case. So you have to be very careful that when you do the computation, you have to check the net book value of the asset, okay, every year. So to make sure that you don't depreciate uh, over Okay, or make sure that your net book value doesn't fall below the salvage value. Now, of course, there's a quick hack here that you can use uh, with the financial calculator. In your Texas BA2 financial calculator, there is a depreciation function. So what you need to do here is press second 
and followed by 4 so that gives you access to the depreciation worksheet so in the first part you will need to select the depreciation method currently mine is pointing to db and is equals to 200 so this is telling us that the uh, the depreciation factor here is 200 percent okay so this is a double declining balance so of course uh for other purposes you can set this to 300 percent or 150 percent but for the cfa level one exam yeah the um they would test you with a double declining balance okay so just leave it at 200 don't try to set it at two if you set it at two that means two percent okay but we are looking for double double declining so it's a 200 percent or double factor now of course if uh your the method shown here is something different you can always press second enter to change the method okay until you get db and then set it equals to 200 if sometimes it may not be 200 so you will have to change it yourself just press 200 and press enter All right now we'll scroll down and then the first thing you'll see here is the life okay the useful life which is five years all right enter and then scroll down m01 just leave it as one that means you will start depreciating in the first month and then cst is a cost uh, which is forty thousand. okay and then uh sell is a salvage value which is twelve thousand. so once you key this in the calculator will check and make sure that your net book value never drops below twelve thousand. okay and then we have the year which year are we trying to compute for so if let's say i leave this as one when I scroll down the calculator, we'll compute the depreciation expense for the first year, which is 16,000. And if I scroll down, I will see RBV, which is the remaining book value. In other words, if I take 40,000 minus 16,000, that is $24,000. And the RDV is the remaining depreciable value. Okay, so we have another 12,000 to depreciate. Now, if I scroll back up again to year, I can change this to two. And press enter scroll down the depreciation expense is 9006 and the remaining book value is now 14400 okay which we expect okay have we have calculated this just now this is at the end of year two and then there's another 2400 more to depreciate and if i go back up and change this to three and this time around the calculator will automatically compute the correct depreciation expense based on the salvage value so that's 2400 so you will not have an issue where you will calculate the wrong depreciation expense using the formula so this is a quick hack okay if you can use the calculator correctly then this is quite a useful uh, method to compute depreciation of course understanding the formula is also important but in the exam uh, for efficiency purposes learn how to use the calculator now if i scroll down the remaining book value will be 12,000 once you subtract 2004 from 14,004 and then the remaining depreciable value will be zero so in other words from year four and year five onwards the depreciation expense will be zero respectively right so that's the end of the video